Hello everyone, Donnell HD here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up, configure, and install the World Class Championship Wrestling Mod independently on LaunchBox. As you can see in this big box demonstration, I'm launching each of these games independently of each other. Some open in different ways, and some take longer than others, but the concept itself works. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So, let's get funky like a monkey! And let's get it started. As per usual, I have my arcade folder here, and inside that folder, I have my emulators folder and my launch box folder. I left a Google Drive link in the description below for everything you're going to need to get set up right away. All you have to do is click here on download and then download. Alright, I've downloaded the World Class Championship mod and I've placed it here on my desktop. What I'm going to do now is extract the contents of it into the emulators folder. Now I'm going to run the emulator for the first time. So I'm going to go in the emulators folder. WCCW64 folder and the Project 64 EXE here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the WCC64 here and I'm going to choose ROM directory. My directory once again is on the desktop, arcade, emulators folder, WCC64 folder, ROMs folder. Click OK. Now we're going to go to options, settings. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this enter full screen mode when loading the ROM for right now. Now I'm going to go to the directories tab. Okay, now we're going to change these directories to where your directory is located. Mine is once again on the desktop. So I'm going to click these three dots here. And I'm going to go to the plugin folder located on my desktop where it's located. Which is already here. Alright. And now I'm going to go to my save folder. Make sure that's selected. My save folder again, here. My screenshots folder, selected. And the textures path here is a little bit different. It's located in the arcade, emulators, WCCW64 folder, plugin, graphics, high res texture. Click OK. Then click apply, and then OK. Now I'm going to close this emulator up and open it up once again. Make sure you reselect all of these plugins again. Make sure they're black, just like so. So I'm going to select Glide 64 Public Release 4.0 here. Jabo's Direct Sound 1707 here. Jabo's Direct Input 1.7.0.12 here. And the RSP plugin here. Now I'm going to click Apply and then OK. Now I'm going to go to the options, configure graphics plugin. Whatever you'd like your resolution to be at, you set it here. I'm going to change my window resolution to be a little bit smaller this time. That's for the window mode. I'm going to go right here to the texture enhancement folder. And I'm going to make sure these right here are checked off. Use texture pack. This is very important. Okay, once you've checked it off, you change this path to where your actual textures are located as well. So I'm going to click browse here. Once again, that was on my desktop, arcade, emulators, WCCW64 folder, plugin, graphics, high res texture tab. Click select folder. Now for the cache, click browse. Go back one tab and then click on the cache folder. Select folder and the texture dump. Browse. Take it back one more time. Texture jump here. Select folder. Once you're done with that, you click OK. My tab's a little funky here. Had to give me a second, guys. Sorry. It looks a little weird right now, but I'm going to options. Configure controller plugin. I'm using the Xbox One controller, so I'm going to drop this down arrow here. I'm going to click controller, Xbox One for Windows. And then I'm going to configure here a little bit to my specifications by clicking each of these buttons here. If you need to change yours, you can do that as well. When you're done, click OK. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and load the game up by double clicking here. Be aware that this is a large game, so it may take anywhere from 45 seconds to one minute to load it up. Okay, now that the game is loaded, there is a music mod for this right here, but I don't quite know if it will work for you guys, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Just go down to your folder where your Project 64 folder is and click on this roster tool icon here. Then click on the icon roster tool here. Once this loads up, just put it off to the side real quick once you can get focus on it. It takes a couple seconds to load up, but once it loads up, if it says offset, correct, in red letters here, that means the music mod will work. So you have to check off enable music mod here and then go ahead and start your game. Okay, the music mod works. Now you can go back to the settings and choose it to go back to full screen when loaded around, but I leave it unchecked so I can press alternate enter back and forth to switch between full screen and windowed mode so I can select the music mod. Unfortunately, if you want to continue to play the mod and music in your game, you have to keep the roster tool window open. But now that we got the mod up and running, let's set it up in Launchbox. Okay, now that we're here in Launchbox, we're gonna go up here to in the top left corner. We're gonna to go to Tools, Manage, Emulators. As you can see, I have my two previous mods here. I'm just gonna click Add. In the Emulator Name section, I'm just gonna call this Project 64 WCCW. Now I'm gonna direct it to the path. Once again, it's on my desktop, Arcade, Emulators, WCC64 folder, Project 64, here. Now I'm going to go to my associated platform sections here and I'm going to make sure that it says Nintendo 64 here. I'm not going to check the box to click it as my default emulator and Project 64 does not need a running script so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to click close. Now it's time to import our mod. So I'm just going to go down here to the bottom left corner here and I'm going to go in the ROM folder and I'm gonna grab the WCC4 64 ROM and drag it and put it here like so. What type of game files are you importing? Click ROM files. What platform are you importing game for? Select Nintendo 64. Next, manually configure emulator. Choose the emulator. Make sure Project 64 WCCW mod is selected here or whatever you made it as. Next, Use files in their current location. Next, 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 next. Make sure that your name here is spelled correctly and then click finish. It still may not show up in the LaunchBox game database because this game may not be in there. So you may have to create your own artwork or download some off the internet if you can find it. Once you're done, go ahead and click finish. Okay, I did end up having to create my own artwork, but you have successfully set up, configured, and installed the World Class Championship Wrestling 64 mod on LaunchBox. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to thank each and every one of you that watch my channel. And if this tutorial helped you out, drop a like, subscribe, and hit this notification bell to stay up to date on my videos. As always, I'm LHD, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.